We're here in uh, Stockholm, Sweden, one of two city sprints on our calendar this year. And city sprints, it's narrow roads, so we're always using classic technique. But when we use classic technique where it's a not big hills, we always have that risk of skating. So we're going to take a look today at what goes into making some of the jury decisions. When an athlete gets a yellow card, when they don't, what it means when they're ranked as last, and what happens when we see a false start. In the start, we have several situations to keep under control. First of all, we have to follow in the take your set position, and after the set command, all the others have to stay motionless. One motion, one little action means also a yellow card. Yellow card could, could arrive to disqualification because the second yellow card automatically is disqualification. In competition we have uh, false starts, we have uh, obstructions and uh, yeah, in classic sprints we also sometimes have some technique violations. So at, at the end of the race I just uh, click on the, on, the, on the mark in the, in the screen I am coming back directly on, on the case. And here we can uh, of course make some slow-mo. We can also zoom if uh, we want to have more details. So uh, this chart is a um, kind of filter that uh, all the jury are using to decide on the sanction when we have uh, rules infraction. And the first question is, do we have a rule infraction? If we answer yes, then uh, we have to decide if it was an advantage. If it's yes, then we have other questions that will uh, lead us to uh, the level of the sanction. I think it's important, it's like a soccer player in football. If you don't understand why the judge is taking a yellow or a red card, then you don't know if you should be mad or happy because of the decision. So I think the jury has a very important work in cross country and to show us athletes what we are allowed to do and what we are not allowed to do and show it in a good way that we understand what they mean. But it, it always in sports, it's a big gap that is in the gray zone.